Hey guys, it's Little She-Hulk here. Um, this video is a reply to Orca Maniac. Um, I just saw your video about the Death of the Incredible Hulk and what you thought of it. Um, you did bring up some pretty good points. Um, and yeah, I was aware of the fourth movie they did have planned. And apparently She-Hulk was even supposed to make an appearance in this movie. But uh, I wanted to give you, this is my reply to uh, what I thought of Death of the Incredible Hulk. And I have, I have seen it. I've seen it through once. I don't like this movie. I really don't. I do not accept this movie as canon for that universe. I feel like the movie itself is terrible, quite honestly. I mean, the Hulk outs are great. Don't get me wrong. The Hulk outs are amazing. Oh, you can feel. Oh, it's so cool. The rest of the movie just isn't that good. I mean, the premise of the movie is piss poor to be the nicest I can. And I'm, I'm going to say this, and it's really a kind of a, I hate to say, I really hate to say this, but I feel like Bill Bixby's acting was not up to par. And I hate saying that about him because he was an amazing actor. Oh my God, he was such an amazing actor. And I just didn't feel like he was all in this project. I mean, maybe he was tired of it. Maybe he hated it or was just hurting or something. I don't know. But I watched this movie and I cringe. Just because I feel so bad, like, you're not putting enough effort into this. This isn't the David Banner I know. I can go back and watch an episode from season one, season two, three, four, five. That's, that's David Banner. I can watch from The Incredible Hulk Returns. That's David Banner. I can watch from Trial of the Incredible Hulk. That's David Banner. But I watch Death of the Incredible Hulk and I don't get that. I do don't feel like it's him. And people might say that, oh, well, he's not quite himself because he's so worn down from the years. And I, I, I find that to be kind of a stupid way to, I find that idea to be a little stupid because if he was fine a year ago in the trial, he should be fine this year. Nothing major has happened that would cause him to change. We haven't seen anything, nothing is mentioned. Um, again, yeah, it is sad in the, in the Death of the Incredible Hulk that, you know, he does die. It's sad, and I think the way he did it was, I don't know, kind of stupid, because technically he has survived a fall before in the episode Free Fall from Season 4. He survives a fall quite easily, and he's not even the Hulk when it happens. He's still David Banner transformed forming into the Hulk when he impacts. That's a big deal. If he can survive that, the Hulk should be able to survive a drop from a friggin' plane. I don't even think they were very high up. I really wish not to go on a large rant today because I have, I just got back from somewhere and I have a headache. I wish not to make any big, big messy rants. So I'm going to try to keep this as soft as possible. I liked the Pratts. They were really sweet. I really liked them. I love the reaction David gets when he sees the Hulk on screen because he's never like there's he's never seen news footage of the Hulk. He's just seen crappy pictures taken by newspaper reporters, but he's never actually seen him like not in person like that. The closest he's ever been would be in the married episodes when he was in when he was under hypnosis that was the closest he ever got and this was like the real deal and he, the way he took it was amazing he was just so like he was petrified quite honestly that's literally what he was he was petrified by what he saw I'm gonna break here break away from here from that for a minute to talk about the fourth movie because I'm pretty sure you probably wanted my opinion on that too um yes the fourth movie was supposed to be where the Hulk was brought back with David Banner's intelligence. I'm not sure what the premise of the movie would have been. I know She-Hulk was supposed to make a cameo in this movie, and there's even pictures of the actress 
dressed as She-Hulk. They're circulating on the internet. They're very few, but they're there and they are real. But again, the movie was canceled because of what happened to Bix. Um, quite honestly, the movie sounds like a really cool idea, but I would not have wanted to see it. I would not see it. I think that the premise of it, at least in the idea of bringing him back with David Banner's intelligence, would not have fit in with the universe that they had built up over the uh, duration of the series. Technically, even um, Trial and Incredible Hulk Returns did not fall in with what they had built either, but they're still really good, and they still have that feel that, you know, you can tell it's the same people, the same characters, and they're in very close to what the show had, but you can tell it's, it's still, it's closer than what the third movie has, but, eh, I still think they're fine, though. I rather enjoy the first, the first two post-series movies. They're quite enjoyable, and I very much like to watch them. I think that's really all I have to say about the movie right now, because this headache's kind of messing with my head. Um, I'll probably rewatch the movie one more time and give a re and then right after that give a more solid review. I might do that. I'm not sure. But this is just a quick glance over as a reply to you cuz that's what you you wanted my you wanted my opinion. So this is my that this video is my reply to you. Um, if you have any more, if you have, in fact, if you have any questions, in fact, if anybody has any questions about the series, um, my opinions on things, um, all kinds of questions about behind the scenes stuff, because I know a lot. I, I dig into everything I can about this series. So if you have any questions or any, uh, opinions you'd like, any fan theories that you have, or if you have an idea for an episode you'd like me to review next, because I think I'm going to start doing this. Um, put it in the comments below, or if you're on Facebook, shoot me a message, or just send a message to my YouTube. I see, I look at all my messages, so it's not going to get missed. And that's it. I'm going to go take a nap now.